Hi, my name's Terry. I'm here today to show you how to integrate NDI sources into your OBS Studio. I'm not here to show you the basic studio operations of OBS. For that, you'll have to see my friend Jeff Stamps' tutorial on the CMAC website, cmac.tv. Anyway, I hope you enjoy today's tutorial and let's get started. The NDI feature allows you to do several things that you might be interested in. By using two computers on your local LAN or Wi-Fi router, you could produce your show on one computer and use the second computer as a new source, like for Skype, Zoom, or a video clip playback. This is possible by downloading NewTek NDI tools and OBS plugins and installing them both on your computers. It's free software that allows you to add any NDI source to your OBS Studio production. It makes it possible to add a live or recorded source during your video podcast or talk show. It's a handy tool, especially during times of social distancing or needing interviewees at a distance. Okay, now you will need to download two pieces of software, the OBS NDI plugin and NDI tools on both computers on your home network. The OBS Studio program should already be on both machines. The OBS NDI plugin and the NewTek NDI tools, specifically the NDI scan converter and the NDI monitor. Some computers will work without the NDI monitor, but the scan converter is very important as that is what converts the computer screen into an audio video player on your network. Okay, now it's time to download the NDI plugin by going to github.com. Select the latest release. Now we're on the install software page. Let's go down and uh, there's a note here that says install the NDI 451 Mac OS runtime using the installer provided here. Okay, let's try that. And we'll save it. And let's try to run it. There we go. Uh, agree. Agree, install, very good. Okay, now we need to go down and we need to find the Mac OS package, which is right there. Let's download that. And when that finishes, we'll open it up and install that. And we'll go continue. Install. Love Mac. Pretty good, pretty secure. Installation was successful. Very good. Now, before moving on and installing the NDI tools, we have to do a complete system restart. Now you can download the NewTek NDI tools by going to this web address here and great splash page go down a little bit <clears throat> all the information is below but the download bar is right here near the top a gray bar download that now we want ndi tools for mac if you were using windows you'd want to do ndi tools for windows we'll download the mac and i'll put my name in again Country, California, and we're okay. I'm not a robot, and we're download. Okay, we're going to download the NDI tools for Mac. And put it on the desktop, my favorite place again. And it looks like it's completed. Let's open it up and follow the instructions. Oh, there we go. Okay, now let's install the specific tools that we want. I think uh, the scan converter is the most important one. So let's go ahead and launch that. Continue. 
license. I've read everything very quickly. I'm a speed reader and I agree with it. And the destination is going to be Mac there. There we go. And continue. Install. Type in my password. There it is. Now let's go to the video monitor and launch that. Again, I'm a speed reader and I agree. And we're going to install this. My password again. And we're good to go. Okay, we should download the NDI HX driver for Mac right here. Let's click on that. Let's save it. And when it stops downloading, we will open it up and follow the instructions. There's the pack. We will double click the package, follow the instructions. I read the license very quickly and we're going to keep the installation destination the same. And it looks like it was successful. Now we get to use one computer as the player and one computer as the master production device. Now select the computer you want to use as a player for Skype, Zoom, video clips, or any other feed you may want in your production. Go down to the bar and launch the new text scan converter. And you'll see it'll come up here which means now it's playing back on this screen for the other computer. Okay, now let's go to our main computer, OBS Studio program, where we're going to be editing and producing on, and let's see if the computer connected via the network. Let's add a scene here, and we'll just call it Scene 6, that's fine. And then let's go Add by right-clicking and adding a new source, which is the NDI source now and it's named NDI source so we'll say okay well make sure this is clicked make sure source visible is very important and then a window comes up let's look for the source name and see if it's connected and there it is it's owner PC which is the name of the computer let's click on that we'll say okay and let's see if we have a video coming up yeah looks like a nice shot of Monterey We'll be able to fade to that. And now we have another source, whether it be a video of Monterey or Skype or Zoom or any other source after that other computer. You now have another production element to add to your OBS Studio toolbox. Well, there you have it. For the purpose of the demonstration, I used a PC to send the NDI signal. I showed you how to load up a Mac, so if you were wondering about that, that's the reason. It was all set up and ready to go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial, and I hope you have a wonderful time with your OBS Studio and now using NDI sources to expand your production capabilities. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you later.